Hey everyone, in this tutorial what I'm going to be showing you is how to create motions in iClone for use with the uh, mechanism system in Unity 4. Um, the main difference between the previous version of Unity is the mechanism system uses uh, root motion, which means you'll actually have to change your character's position, uh, root position, uh, when you're doing the motions as opposed to uh, running in place like you did before. Uh, so what I'll do first, I'm going to create my running animation first. So I'm going to zoom in on my character a little bit. Um, Mr. Jamal listening to the headphones here and I'm gonna go over to motion puppet on the right here and this is a good uh, tool for uh, creating your own custom motions um, whether it be running walking or idles or anything like that um, I'm just gonna select my basic uh, basic run here first and if I press preview I can see my characters basic run this is our template run here our basic template if I wanted to make him look like he's running a little bit faster, for example, I can maybe do something like uh, give him a longer stride, um, maybe increase the speed a bit, and maybe add some more bouncing hips, just bounce up a bit, a bit more. It all depends on uh, what kind of look you're going for here. And you can actually you know, make him lean forward and backward as well, if your heart so desires. Uh, you can also do that in real time as well. So um, but let's uh, that, that one's good enough for me. So I'm just gonna press record and press space to record that. I'm just gonna record a few seconds. Doesn't really matter how much. And once that's done, we close it. And there's my character's uh, run. That's gonna be my in-game character's run. All right, so what I need to do now is make him to uh, run along a path. Now, first what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a left turn and a right turn. So in order to do that, I need to go to the animation tab and the path section, and I'm gonna create a path here uh, by clicking create path. And we'll start around his uh, origin point right there. And we're gonna create a left turn first, so his left turn. Um, so we'll just add a couple of points here. I'll try and make a kind of natural curving uh, curving turn seems a bit natural you can right click uh, when you're finished your path there and if we go to a, a top view that looks pretty decent if you want you can select edit path in the modify panel and edit these individual points press w to bring up the gizmo you can bring that out a bit more um, you can totally edit these however you however you wish but that looks okay all right so we'll just uh press escape to get out of that and next item of business, we want to make my character run along the path. So what I'll do first is select my character and go to the actor tab. And we need to pick a path right here. Uh, so I'll pick path and I'm going to select the first point of the path right there. My character will automatically lock onto that. And we want to wait till about the end of his animation. Maybe made him run a bit too long. Both there. And then we can change the position to 100 on the path. And you'll see that my character will now do a, a run along the path. Wouldn't it be cool if you could run like that? All right, uh, what we need to do is make him follow the path. So we'll select follow path, and then we'll select, uh, normally these kind of uh, paths on the ground plane, you select the negative Y axis. And you'll see that my character is running, but he's still running a bit slow. Um, got a lot of feet sliding there. So we can adjust that by pressing F3, going into the timeline. And you'll see I have three tracks open here. I have the collect clip track, the motion track, and the constraint track. Now, if I press control plus and I zoom in a little, in a little bit, you'll see the path is where the constraint uh, track is. That's how long my character is walking along that path. And this is the point where he reaches 100%. And this is the motion clip. So let's say we need one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe steps. We can actually just totally break off the rest of that clip and delete it since we have far too many steps. And you'll see what happens now is he'll just kind of slide for the rest of the path. So we need to bring this uh, point up here, this constraint point. Let's bring it up to uh, about the same area. I press control plus, I can zoom in a bit easier. Oh, it's a pretty accurate uh, placement there. And so now, if I uh, see my character has a bit more of a, a bit more of a realistic run. And that's kind of what we want. All right, so um, with that run, what I want to do 
is I want to add that to 3D Exchange. But first what I want, what I'm going to do is make sure my character is in 3D Exchange. So my actor is selected, I'm in the Actor tab, Avatar, and I can select Edit in 3D Exchange. And that'll bring my character right into uh, 3D Exchange here. There you'll see him appear, cool shades and all. And uh, that'll import, and you'll see on the, on the motion library here, he has all of Chuck's uh, persona motions. So I'm not gonna use those for this tutorial, I'm just gonna delete them all there. And we'll go back into iClone. And I'm gonna press F3. And what I wanna do, I have this collect clip track open. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on this here. And I'm gonna click and drag in the collect clip track. And I'm gonna right click and then add to 3D Exchange. What that'll do is that'll add my motion to 3D Exchange, to the character in 3D Exchange. So we're going to export this to a FBX format later, um, but for now that's just my first motion. So you see it's motion 5 in the, in the animation motion library there. I can just select add to perform and then give it a, uh, give it a name. Let's give it a turn left, since it is turning left. Now, next item of business, we'll go back in here. And we want to make a, a right turn now. Now we don't have to create a whole new path. I'm going to leave this area selected in the collect clip track because that's going to be the area, the, the same length of the clip. The clip is going to be the same length rather. I close down the timeline and I'm going to go into, uh, again, into my path, animation, path. Make sure my path is selected and edit path. And now I'm just going to basically make a parallel version of the path here. So if I select that point there. You'll see it's about one, two, two and some grid lengths away from him. So one, two, two and some right there. And we'll just drag all these points over as well. Don't worry about the uh, distortion of the path just yet, because it'll get better. Something like there. All right, so there we go. That's That looks about good to me. All right, so there's a... Uh, there's my turn right. Now, I don't have to change any positions or anything like that. I can just press stop and press play. And now he'll run along the right, uh, run to the right. So it's a convenient way to get uh, your two uh, right and left motions in, uh, in one fell swoop. Uh, so again, I'll uh, go F3 into the timeline, right click that same selection, and add to 3D exchange. And there's my right turn. All right, so uh, we'll just add that to our perform uh, editor as well. We'll call that one turn right. Turn right, oops, there we go. All right, and last item of business, we want to uh, create a forward running motion. So this one's pretty easy as well. We'll again, keep the same length in the, uh, in the timeline for the collect clip track. And again, uh, have our path selected and edit path. And we'll just try and put these uh, points in a straight line here. So, uh, get out of the way, you. All right. Um, the straight line. And the spacing between these is totally arbitrary. Um, it really depends on the, uh, the stride length of your character and whatnot. And there's other more detailed ways that you can uh, you can adjust the run of your character. Um, let's, let's save that for other tutorials there. So that looks okay. I can just uh, kind of scroll down here and see that uh, not too much foot sliding involved. That looks about okay for me. So we'll just uh, keep that same clip. Press F3, right click, and add to 3D Exchange. So there's my forward running motion. All right, so uh, once that's done, we're just gonna create a couple more motions. Oh, first we'll uh, Add that to the perform menu and we'll call it uh, run forward. An appropriate name. And back in iClone, we're just gonna add a couple more motions. And these are both motion clips, so no worries, they're super easy to apply. Um, I'm just gonna go back to frame one, right click my character and select remove all animation. And then I can go to the edit motion layer tool and bring it back to the default pose. You don't really need to do that, but uh, I always like to do it anyways and uh, select the path here and uh, press delete. And so there we have my character, uh, fresh and new with no animation whatsoever. Um, now what I'm gonna do is apply a couple of uh, motions to this character. I'm gonna give him an idle motion. Now we have this uh, street dance pack here. Um, you can see I'm gonna go into the popping 
genre popping type of street dance and I'm going to select groove um, because that's what this guy likes to do and uh, there's a couple of grooves here I'm going to select groove 02 just double click on that and my character will begin to uh, begin to groove so to speak all right, so that's uh, that's going to be my character's idle. It's a bit more uh, more suitable for him, for him, I think. Um, so I'm going to press F3. That's all I need to do for that. And I can just kind of zoom out here. Press Control minus to uh, just drag that selection area to encompass my idle motion. Make sure you got it pretty accurate there. Control plus and Control minus will zoom out of the timeline, so it's quite useful. And right click that and add to 3D Exchange. So these are all the motions that I'm going to export. Uh, motion 8, add to perform, we'll call that idle. And one more just for good measure. We'll go back into iClone since it's really super easy to do this. Right click, remove all animation. We'll give them a dance perform motion. So again, I don't really have to go back into default motion if I don't want to. But I'm going to select routines. There's a number of different routines in this pack. Uh, I'm just going to select this wave combo because I think it looks, it looks pretty funky. There you'll see my character start to do his uh, his wave dance. All right, so this this uh, animation is pretty long. We won't watch the whole thing right now, but uh, you can press stop and I'll press F3 again, and exactly the same procedure as I did before. I uh, click and drag the selection area to the very end. And there we go. And right click, add to 3D Exchange. So that's all the motions we're going to use for this tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you how to create a blend tree um, and create your own animator controller within Unity in the uh, next tutorial. So uh, that's about it for this tutorial. Um, again, watch the next one for more on how to create your own uh, blend tree and, and animations within iClone or within Unity. Sorry.